Hi, I'm Nick Baker. Let me introduce you to my worm world. Now, if there's a creature that's as mysterious as it is vital to every single human being on Earth, then it is the worm. I say the worm, there's actually many, many different kinds of worm. But the ones that live in the soil, of which there are many species, um, can be kept and studied in the worm world. This is your introduction to the importance and the soil shifting power, as well as the fun and fascination of this group of animals. And this is the worm world. It's a, a beautiful, um, simple bit of kit, like all the uh, living worlds. It's, uh, it's been designed with the welfare of the worm in mind, but also with the, the viewer in mind. So this is it when it's set up. It's very sturdy, it's very stable, it's completely worm proof. So the worms that go in there stay in there. Um, and in order to see what they've been up to, you simply lift this shade off, because of course worms like to be in the dark, and you lift it off and you can see what's going on. Now, all this is provided in the kit. And what we've got here is nice soil, nice, uh, uh, humus rich soil and we've allowed to put these little bands of uh, various coloured um, sands in. Now the point of that is, is it helps to see just how much mixing of the soil these worms do. They really are engineers of a good healthy soil and you might think these things have got no personality, nothing to them of any interest but again get your mind in there, get your eyes in there and you will see worms taking leaves from the surface, rolling them up and dragging them into the burrows. Suddenly you realise just how important they are at fertilising and composting and all those other vital roles they do. So once you've set up your worm world and all the instructions, all the information you need on how to set it up and how to um, find your worms and how to place them and which species to use, it's all here in the manual. And let's face it, worms are everywhere. So it's a really easy, user-friendly kit to get you going. And then once you get your worms in your wormery and sit there and watch what they get up to, you can begin to understand, one, just how important they are, but also how they manage to capture the imagination of some of the greatest minds that have ever lived, like Charles Darwin and I believe even Cleopatra. Thank you.